Hi everyone, it's Linda Canasse with iCrafter. Thank you for joining me. I am going to show you a quick video on how to assemble the stand-ups insert base die, but in a slightly different project. I'm going to be using a couple of other dies in this uh, to create this project, and it's going to be something a little different, um, and I hope inspiring for things that you can uh, use you don't have to just use what comes in the die set. You can add more things to it. So let me go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to be using to make this is the stand-up insert base die, which is our brand new die. And something else, um, this is the flip card dashed a circle die. It has these lovely flowers, if you could see that. That's what I'm going to be pulling from this set. And then the other die I am using is the pinwheel card die, which I don't have in front of me. The dies that I have that I'm going to be using. I took some thick white cardstock and I just kind of swirled some um, distress ink in fresh flamingo and dusty concord. I wanted it just colored at the top. And I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. Using my pro deck. And I'm just going to, and this is my magnetic pro deck. So you can see how wonderful it is. Just holds everything in place. It's great. What you get is this nice clean cut and then this was a little scrap I had and I am going to cut this little piece right there. What I want to do, I'm going to cut one of these and cut it slightly at an angle and one of these in white cardstock and one of these in white cardstock. So, and you could hear how quiet the magnetic pro deck is. I'm just going to go back. These are the pieces from the pinwheel card that says happy birthday. So just want to put those out. So now that I have all my pieces die cut, I'm going to go ahead and start doing some crease folds. So on this piece, you'll see this triangular shape, and that's the main mechanism. So you're going to fold these back to angles. And then there's a long horizontal one here, and you'll fold that one back as well. And I recommend using our eye press burnisher to do some nice crisp folds. So I'm just going to do it that way. Okay. So we have this piece. Now this little triangle that I cut, die cut out, just goes right there. And then I have my A2 size card. It is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to open it up. And now what we're going to do is fold this piece back and fold this bottom tab up. And we're going to align this point with the center fold of the card. And with this piece folded back, we're going to line it up just along the top of the card right there. Can you see that? 
So that's where we want to place it. So what we're going to do is put adhesive on the two flaps that are folded back. Okay. We're gonna, you should put a generous amount because it, it's going to hold um, a lot of this, the movement of the card flush with the top of the card. Okay, so the point there and flush with the top of the card. Okay, so that's what we want. And you will see as you fold it what that closing action does. So now what we want to do is this panel is where we will have the raising um, uh, flap action come up. Now, I cut these out twice. One was from a piece that I colored and the other is just from plain white cardstock. And the main reason I did it was because I didn't like how this looked on the back and you will see the back of this, but also two pieces will give it a lot more stability. So I'm gonna glue those together. But before I do that, I want to add some embellishment to this. I die cut these flower shapes and these are going to be my embellishments both for the front and the back no from the front and the inside of the card so i'm just sorting them i did roughly two of each i think obviously i did three of those so there's three different sizes and what i want to do is i'm going to i did them in this is why I inked the background. I wanted it to stand out. I'm going to backfill in the pieces that have come that I cut out, but I'll first let me go ahead and put these pieces in there, and it'll just be a little bit of a uh, very detailed glue. I'm going to use my I grip reverse tweezers to pick it up and place it where I want it. So this is again going to be on the inside of the card. I'll save these pieces for the front of the card. And now what I did, these are the pieces. I also cut these shapes out of green, hard stuck. And so I took all the pieces on the inside and laid them in here. And now I'm going to fill in the card, fill in these shapes. So I found all the green pieces that I need for the leaves and I placed them in their spots. I'm just going to go ahead and glue these down and I'll be right back. I had die cut also the flowers in these three colors, pink, lavender, and a pale blue. Now they are still attached in there, which is my hint for making it easier to attach these because if the pieces are still in there, you kind of know where everything goes a little easier. And so I'm gonna do blue flowers on here. So I'm gonna try this. I see these pieces are there. I'm gonna try a mass gluing, if that makes sense. And I know some pieces are missing, so I'm not putting adhesive in all of those spots, but I lay it on top and again with my eye click die pick, just push these pieces through. In theory, they should stay down where I want them. Look at that. They are all in place. Okay, so now all I need to do is find the few missing pieces here, which might not be so hard. Okay, there's one. So there I have the front or the flowers finished on this piece. So let me pull back on the camera a bit. And I'm going to attach these two again because I want the back to be um, uh, clean looking. So I'm just doing this. And I'm just, I'm just going to glue these together. Okay. Um, another thing I'm going to do is these are the shadows for the words happy birthday from the uh, pinwheel card. And I'm just going to layer those down. Okay. There's the 
happy birthday words. This is another piece that I die cut and you can see there's like four squares and a little flap and it's really simple. You just fold along the crease lines and what you're going to create is just add a little adhesive here and I'm just laying it flat. And you just make a square, basically. So it's just that. I'll do the front in a bit, but I want to get this part done because this is this is like my favorite piece here. Okay. So I'm going to allow for about a quarter of an inch space over here. Okay. And I'm going to put adhesive. And this is where you want, again, really strong adhesive. Good amount. Okay. And you want the top part up there. Because it's going to lift up, basically. It's going to come down and lift back up. You can kind of see the action on that. And then while, just to make sure that has a chance to dry. I'm going to go ahead and finish the front of the card. So here's the front of the card and I filled in the flowers and the leaves. You can see that. And I'll show you the inside again. Oh, a piece of purple right there. Don't need that. So there's the inside. Now here comes the next part that is going to be the special piece. And this was, remember the um, little additional stand-up piece but I want to show what I did was I took a photograph and I printed it out and then I fussy cut around the photo and I'm going to add that onto the front but because I don't she doesn't stand yet I'm going to do a fold across her legs so that she looks like she's sitting And so I'm going to put the, her, glue her back to this. Okay, so you can't even see it in front. And you can see now why I selected these colors of pink and lavender and a little bit of blue. And you could also see why I wanted to have a little bit of background but not too much because I want her to be the piece that stands out the most so when the card sits up I want her to be like right there so now what I need to do is put adhesive on these three panels and I'll show you what I mean here so that goes to the back this goes to the bottom and then her legs will also sit on the bottom so those three pieces and now just line it up so that the back crease will be aligned with that crease her legs will be adhered to the back of that panel so now I'm just going to make sure the crease folds nice and flat this direction. Okay, so here's the front. And there it's, and you can see why I wanted to have a clean back to this card because it shows. And then when it opens, you can see there she is sitting there, the little, the little sweetie right there. And she's sitting away from the background, so it she really stands out. And again, I picked up colors from her outfit and just put it like that. And when she's looking, facing towards you, she looks like she's just sitting there. Isn't that cute? And so this is the stand-ups insert base that creates this mechanism in here and the little piece in there. And then the flowers, and you can see all the flowers, that comes from the dashed circle, or a flip card dashed circle. 
on there. And then the happy birthday came from the uh, pinwheel card. So it's just a combination of those three, but it's the little happy birthday for her. And just something for her first birthday. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that of the um, stand-ups insert base. The flowers from the flip card dashed circle. And then the sentiment happy birthday from the pinwheel card. See you next time.